Job 11. Zophar. When Zo then Zophar the Neomophite replied, All these words to go unanswered? Is this talker to be invindicated? Will your idle talk reduce others to silence? Will no one rebuke you when you mock? You say to God, My beliefs are flawless, and I am pure in your sight. Oh, how I wish that God would speak, that he would open his lips against you, and disclose to you the secrets of wisdom. For true wisdom has two sides. Know this, God has even forgotten some of your sin. Can you fathom the mysteries of God? Can you pro probe the limits of his Almighty? They are higher than the heavens above. Who can? What can you do? They are deeper than the depths below. What can you know? Their measure is longer than the earth and wider than the sea. If he comes along and confines you in prison and convenes a court, who can oppose him? Surely he recognizes deceivers, and when he sees evil, does he not take note? But the witness can no more become wise than a wild donkey's colt can be born human. Yet if you devote your heart to him and stretch your hands to him, then put away the sin that is in your hand and allow no evil to dwell in your tent. Then, free of fault, you will lift up your face. You will stand firm without fear. You will surely forget your trouble, recalling it was on only as waters gone by. Life will be brighter than noonday and darkness will become like morning. You will be secure because there is hope. You will look about you and take your rest in safety. You will lie down with no more to make you afraid, and many will court your favor. But the eyes of the wicked will fail, and escape will elude them. Their hope will become a dying gasp.